Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you what happens to all the different uh, meeting recordings that you have uh, within Microsoft Teams. Um, here's a scenario for you. Let's just say you have a meeting, all right? And you can schedule one. You can have uh, pretty much a live meeting. Uh, all right, let uh, me demonstrate this to you. So here we go. Let's just say we have a status meeting of some sort, all right? And let's say we have a meeting. Uh, and um, you can obviously invite others. Uh, but uh, for this particular exercise, I'm going to go ahead and record the meeting. All right, so let's just say we are recording the meeting. All right, so the meeting has been recorded. Uh, I'll only wait for a few seconds. All right, and I'm going to end the meeting. All right, so here we go. I just ended the meeting. Now, what happens to the recording? It actually tells you over here what happens, but let me explain. Uh, the recording uh, of the meeting has obviously been produced, but once produced, it's going to be stored within something called Microsoft Stream, all right? Uh, the video itself, the video file itself is, is going to be uploaded to uh, something called Microsoft Stream. What is Microsoft Stream? It's essentially your uh, video hosting platform. Think of this as your internal YouTube. Now, I remember when you created a team in Teams, you got everything that you see on the slide, right? You you got a SharePoint site, you got a calendar in Outlook, a distribution list, um, you know, a plan and planner, obviously a team. You also got um, um, you also got uh, a place uh, within that uh, Microsoft Stream, essentially a work uh, workspace uh, to store all the videos, and you also got a workspace uh, within Power BI, which is the data analytics tools. Now. Tool. And now the only you know the reason why these circles are smaller is because they are kind of less frequently used, uh, all right, compared to other assets of the group. Uh, but you know, nevertheless, everything still gets created, all right. And uh, all the videos, right? Obviously, SharePoint is um, is where all the documents reside, right? Uh, all the documents you upload to the channels they reside on the SharePoint site. But videos, because they tend to be large. You know, files usually write, um, they're not going to SharePoint, they are going to this place called Microsoft Stream. Uh, and essentially, what Microsoft Stream is, it's your video hosting platform. And uh, to access Stream, uh, let's go to um, let's go to this, this page over here. To access Stream, you just go to uh, the App Launcher, Office 365 App Launcher, and it will be in the list of all the other apps you have as well. Here we go. And um, this is what it looks like. Essentially, again, you, you know, think of this as your internal YouTube, um, if you will, uh, the video hosting platform. Obviously, YouTube is a public, uh, is a public. Um, Kind of domain, right? Uh, everyone uh, who posts videos to YouTube, they're kind of seen by everyone. Uh, this is obviously internal to your organization, all right? And you know, Stream has all these different, you know, channels. Like in YouTube, right? You can have a different channels. You know, maybe you want to have a channel for HR onboarding, uh, and and how, you know, post all the videos here. Uh, but what I'm going to show you is this: if you go under my content groups. All right, essentially, these are the different, what you see here are all the different workspaces uh, for different groups, all right, for different groups that you have uh, within your environment. And let's find our, our team over here. All right, here we go. This is the team, all right, where I recorded the video. Let's click. And essentially, it honors the same membership. It honors the same membership as... Um, uh, as the team, uh, this is a secure space where only where only um, uh, you know the group members, the team members have access to. And here is my meeting I recorded. All right, here is the video of a recording I just had. All right, and uh, essentially uh, this is where you can access all the recordings from all the meetings. Now, obviously, because you have a secure space, right? You can um, you can use the same workspace to upload other videos that you want uh, all the group, all the team members to have access to. Uh, but uh, bear in mind that uh, when you record the video, uh, when you record your meeting, essentially all the recordings will be stored uh, over here. And it works just like uh, just like uh, YouTube, all right? Essentially, you will be able to play the video. You see, it even tells me who 
you know, who created uh, the video, which channel it was produced in, and just like on YouTube, you know, you can like, you know, the videos, uh, supply comments uh, to the video, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, once um, once the video uh, has been produced, uh, essentially the announcement will be automatically posted to the channel. Uh, you see, this is exactly what happened over here uh, with a direct link to the video as well. All right. But again, you know, in case if you need to access all the other videos, all the other recordings, uh, and you know that the, you ever produced on a team for all the different channels, just navigate to Microsoft Stream and you will be able to uh, to pretty much access all the videos uh, for, for, for a particular group, for, for a particular team. All right, that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. As always, um, I'm happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.